6.30, time for news headlines. Good morning to you. The future of Western Cape Premier Helen Zilla is now in the hands of the Democratic Alliance's federal executive. Yesterday, the party's federal legal chairperson, Glynis Breitenbach, met with Zilla at a secret location after complaints were launched against her over offensive tweets. Zilla is facing strong criticism both within and outside the DA after she posted a tweet in which she defended colonialism. East African Regional Grouping, IGAD, has agreed to create a trust fund for the reconstruction of Somalia. This follows a special summit of heads of state on Somalia refugees held in Kenya. The money will be used for the construction of basic facilities inside Somalia that will make the country habitable for Somali refugees returning from neighboring countries. Play resumes in New Zealand with the Black Caps trailing by 294 runs. Tom Latham and Ajit Raval are leading the chase. South Africa were dismissed for 314. That was in their first innings of the third test against New Zealand after tea on the rain-affected second day at Seedon Park. That was, that was in Hamilton. All right. That's all the sp uh, sports. All right. In fact, those were news headlines. Let's say good morning to Phil Hawkins.